After hours of closed-door deliberations, Zimbabwe's governing party on Sunday expelled its leader, President Robert Mugabe, 93, as he remained locked in negotiations at the State House with the country's army generals about his departure. The Stunning Rebuke by MR Mugabe's own governing party, ZANU-PF, after emergency talks at its headquarters in the capital, Harare, came a day after thousands of Zimbabweans took to the streets to celebrate his continuing fall from power after a military takeover. The Central Committee of his party also appointed the previously fired Vice President, Emerson Nangagwe, as MR. Mugabe's successor. Under the Constitution, MR. Mugabe remains president, even if in name only. But if he does not resign by noon Monday, the party members decided, he would face impeachment by parliament. Cheers and dancing broke out in the building after the vote on the president who had ruled Zimbabwe for 37 years. There is a case at the end, a group of youths chanted after storming an open space outside the ZANU-PF headquarters. They sang phrases that, loosely translated, meant, we lead on while they bark. Announcing the expulsion of MR. Mugabe, Patrick Chinamisa, the party's secretary for legal affairs, said, President Robert Mugabe B and hereby is recalled as first secretary and president of the ZANU-PF party. He is therefore asked to resign forthwith. In the event that the resignation would not have been tendered by midday 20th of November, 2017, the ZANU-PF chief whip was ordered to issue proceedings for the removal of the president in terms of Section 97 of the Constitution of Zimbabwe Amendment No. 20. The Central Committee also expelled the president's wife, Grace Mugabe, as head of the ZANU-PF Women's League. Mrs. Mugabe, widely viewed as his likely successor, has not been seen in public since Wednesday. Mrs. Mugabe, a former typist who had amassed wealth and power in the governing party, was barred for life from the party. So were Jonathan Moyo, Zimbabwe's Minister of Higher and Tertiary Education, and Xavier Kajakura, the Minister of Local Government, along with several others. The downfall of the autocratic ruler began with a military takeover on Wednesday. Once respected as a liberation icon who went into exile after fighting colonial rule, Mr. Mugabe became isolated from fellow party officials. Zimbabwe's only leader since the country gained independence from Britain in 1980, he previously faced hardly any opposition from the ranks and file of his party. But the military placed him under house arrest on Wednesday, saying it wanted to target the criminals around Mr. Mugabe who had pillaged the country's economy and veterans of the fight for independence from white minority rule joined the march on Saturday as Zimbabweans poured into the streets and danced, sang and shouted with joy at the prospect of MR. Mugabe's rule ending MR Mugabe was meeting on Sunday for a second round of talks with the very army commander Constantino Chiwenga, who had placed him under house arrest. MR